And this is one of the classic signs of an abuser, if you're paying attention. I'm pointing them out as I'm catching them. I used to not be able to notice them. They used to just be the class classic signs of my family members. Okay, so Kathy, in one of her last posts, says that she doesn't have to talk about anything she doesn't want to. Which is absolutely true, Kathy. That is 100% true, both for you and for literally everybody else in existence. You do not have to talk about something that you don't want to talk about. You don't have to talk about something that makes you uncomfortable. You don't have to talk about something that makes you sad. You don't have to talk about something that you are not ready to talk about. That is entirely your choice and your right. You do not, on the other hand, get to dictate whether other people are allowed to talk about it. You don't want to talk about my, what my mother went through. That's on you. You don't get to decide that I'm not allowed to talk about what my mother went through. You don't get to decide that it didn't happen just because you're not willing to acknowledge it. That's not okay. And that's what you're doing. You started your YouTube because you wanted to silence me. You wanted to stop me from talking about these things that you don't want to talk about. But it's not you that's doing the talking. It's me. A grown woman who has every right to talk about whatever she wants. You have every right to not talk about it. Fine, but you don't have the right to gather 10,000 people to silence me so that I can't talk about it. The things that happen in your life, you can be silent about. It's fine. You don't want to talk publicly about your drug addiction. You don't want to talk, you don't want to talk publicly about how many baby daddies you had. You don't want to talk publicly about childhood abuse or abusive men in your life who have hurt your children. You don't want to publicly talk about that. Fine. You don't get to stop me from publicly talking about what I've gone through. I've been open about my drug addiction problems that I'm doing really well on, by the way. You don't believe that. But the only thing I'm on these days is caffeine and marijuana and my antipsychotics. And life is pretty good. I'll say that. It got better once I got away from the family, from the judgment, from the hatred, from the constant shame. I'm even losing weight now. I look good now. I'm not constantly focused on my eating habits the way I was before with my grandmother. Every single time she saw me eat, she would tell me she could see me getting fatter. I wouldn't be able to fit through the doorway by the time I finished that sandwich. These little things, these little ways that she would bring me down. And I didn't realize were affecting me as much as they were until I was on my own and no longer being told every day that I was fat and ugly and that no man was ever going to look at me and want me unless I put on makeup and lost weight. Kathy has every right to be silent. She has no right to silence me.